What's up guys, Saf Ashraf here. Today I'm going to be explaining to you why FaceTime takes up so much battery on your iPhone. Let's get straight into it. So let's just get straight into it all together. So basically the main reason FaceTime takes up a lot of battery on your iPhone is mainly because of real-time processing. Now, what is real-time processing? Real-time processing is basically what your iPhone does to get the best picture quality possible. Now, we all know on FaceTime that our faces look absolutely amazing. 1080p, I think Apple talk about it basically all the time whenever they talk about FaceTime. But obviously, this comes at a cost of a lot of data usage and like a lot of CPU usage. So real-time processing happens in the background, obviously uses your CPU a lot to make sure like the overall exposure of the video is correct and like how you look and everything, which means that a lot of battery will also be used as this is quite an intensive task. This is why people often notice that their phones are often getting quite hot when they're on FaceTime and also that their battery declines extremely quickly. So that's basically what real-time processing is and why FaceTime takes up so much battery. However, I also have another theory on why FaceTime takes up so much energy. This could be because of the live photo features that are built in to FaceTime. We all have taken them embarrassing live photos of our friends and family when they are doing something on FaceTime. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with battery load, even though I haven't tested it thoroughly. FaceTime is always ready to take a live photo, which means you can in fact hold the photo when after taking it to see like what happened before and after the actual shot, which is also very useful, but once again, takes a lot of the CPU usage and the overall performance of the phone. Because obviously, once again, I'm going to say real-time processing. It sounds quite annoying now saying it again and again, but it is true. Real-time processing is the key on why FaceTime is taking up so much energy. I hope that explained to you why your battery is going down so quickly and why the temperature of your phone is also going up during FaceTime calls. And yeah, with that said, make sure to like and subscribe if you did find this info helpful. With that said, it's been Saf Ashraf and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.